My name is Ryan Sanderson. I am the CEO and one of the co-founders of Knowledge Perk, a coffee company based out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, Knowledge Perk is a, like I said, it's a coffee company is where we started with the product, but our goal is really to head into the technology space, education space, um, and use technology to create immersive educational experience for the customer with coffee. Um, there, there's a lot of different ways that we want to do that. Um, and we, we started with the product, which led me to how I actually got introduced to Dragon Chain. Um, my coffee company is in Rock Hill, South Carolina, um, and we were kind of on a mission to find an office space. We're growing out of our, our little space, our, our brand new space, about 4,500 square feet of technology and education. That space is being built, and we realized we put so much emphasis on the customer and the technology that we kind of left out an office space. Uh, so we decided we need to find some office space for us, kind of corporate, and in so doing, found a building that was going to work really well, started working with the person there, and realized that we wanted to get some neighbors in there and kind of create this entrepreneurial environment, like a co-working space. Um, I ran into um, an employee of Dragon Chain, Eric, in Rock Hill, South Carolina, I think at a chamber event. We just started talking, it was a quick introduction. Um, he started telling me a little bit about what he was doing and what they were doing in Rock Hill. And I started telling him about the coffee company and was like, wait, maybe, maybe there's some synergy in this office space kind of thing. You guys are looking for a place, we need a place. So we started talking and that worked out pretty well actually. I was able to introduce him to a place where uh, Dragon Chain's new kind of, I guess, Eastern, East Coast headquarters almost, if you will, uh, could get started in this office. And the more we talked about what Dragon Chain is and what it can do, the more we started to realize on our end that that's probably, that, that's the single best way for us to start adding the new technology piece to what we wanted to do with our company. Um, Eric and I went back and forth for three or four weeks on, on kind of what that could look like, what we might could do. Um, he had some great ideas on how we could make it available for our customer quickly. And then he basically came to me and said, look, we, we want to kind of take this and run with this. And he gave me a couple of ideas and said, what do you think? I talked over with my business partner. We said, all right, let's do it. Uh, and then no joke, four days later, we had something operational. Um, I mean... <laughs> Having, having been in the startup world, we move incredibly quickly. Entrepreneurs move fast. Um, but I had no idea that the technology piece could allow us to go from absolutely nothing to something that's being beta tested in our store right now, today, in four days. Um, so I'm not, kinda sh I'm not sure what caffeine substitute Dragon Chain is using at you know, Seattle headquarters. Um, but whatever it is, it works some, some miracles because Eric and his team in Rock Hill had it up and running. Um, and the ability for us to be able to take a technology and implement it so quickly is absolutely key to what we want to do in the rest of the coffee space uh, because it gives us the ability to come up with an idea, have a solution with a company like Dragon Chain that can be implemented very quickly and efficiently, um, see if it's going to work, not work, and then pivot and maybe grow that, change it, whatever. So um, as part of this, you know, a, a huge shout out and kudos to Dragon Chain for, one, helping us solve a problem, helping us identify the problem, and then bringing it to market in, in four days, which is record time.